Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a home gym that you can build for $1,000 or about $1,000. So first thing first, I actually already made this video. I recorded it and edited it uh, a few days ago and I was just about to post it. And then I get an email from Rep Fitness saying that they're having a Memorial Day sale. So I go ahead and check it out and uh, they have $1,000 packages. So I went ahead, checked out all of the packages, which ones I like personally. I think they're all great packages. Uh, it just depends on the kind of uh, training that you do. So if you're more into uh, heavier lifting, there's certain packages you want to get. If you're more into Olympic weightlifting, there's certain packages you might want to get, uh, etc. Things like that. So for me personally, I thought the best one was the irons and flat bench thousand dollar home gym and i'll put a link for all of the items that i talk about today so if you guys are interested in that go ahead and check it out so i went ahead and actually added the package the irons and flat bench thousand dollar home gym i added all of the items by themselves uh not including the package basically and it came out to 1100 and about 47 dollars and a few cents so you're saving about 150 dollars by going with that package now of course it's a a starter home gym so it's not the biggest track it's not the strongest track or more most heavy duty rack but it holds up to 700 pounds and it is more than a lot of us can lift including myself so uh, it also comes with a flat bench and it also allows you to customize it to whatever color you want so uh, last time I checked there were several colors in stock for the rack and the bench and you get to choose which color you want so if you want to stick to a certain color in your home gym you could do that with this package the other package they included uh, weight trees some of them had a uh, squat stand some of them had bumper plates things like that and so it really depends if you're going to use bumper plates obviously go with a package that uses bumper plates and if you're going to use iron plates go with a package that has iron plates the one thing I dislike though about these packages is you can't kind of do a mix and match. So for example, if you are into powerlifting or you're not really into weightlifting that much, you can't exchange the barbell for another barbell. So for example, in the package that I uh, talked about, the irons and flat bench uh, home gym package, you're stuck with a gladiator Olympic uh, weightlifting barbell or something like that. Basically, it's not made for powerlifting. So if you're going to be squatting really heavy in it or deadlifting really heavy, potentially look into getting another barbell or just basically adding your own stuff and then getting a different barbell altogether. Now I tried to make this video and basically what happened was is it's actually quite difficult to make a complete home gym with a thousand dollars. You can of course get a rack, get a barbell, get some weights, get a flat bench, get the um, kind of basics that you need, the fundamentals that every home gym needs. Now I want to take this video kind of in two ways. So one way is you kind of have a thousand dollars and that's the only thing that you have that's all you have and that's all you could spend the other way i want to take this is you have a thousand dollars right now but you're willing to spend more and add more equipment later on down the road now if you're in the bucket or in the category of you have a thousand bucks and that's the only money that you want to spend on your home gym you do not want to spend any more than a thousand dollars then the packages that i mentioned right now are your best bet hundred percent because it's really really hard actually to get all your fundamentals your basics for a thousand bucks so the memorial day sale right now is an insanely good deal and it ends on the 30th so i would highly recommend trying to get it as soon as possible now if you're not really interested in the stuff that is offered in, during the memorial day sale i would highly recommend uh just purchasing things um, that you actually want and can add on later in the future and so my philosophy is you buy once you cry once so if you have a thousand dollars get a nice rack um, that's relatively cheaper not too expensive but something that can hold maybe a thousand or more pounds rep fitness sells uh, the sr4000 which is a squat rack i personally like that when i first made this video that was my first choice uh, i think it's a little over 500 bucks and then my second thing that i bought was the the power bar now of course this differs for each person if you're not a power lifter you do not need a power bar and if you're not interested in a stainless steel power bar you especially don't need it because that's why it's so expensive it's a deep neural power bar that's stainless steel so it's a great price for what it is but if you don't need it obviously you don't get it look at something like the gladiator olympic barbell that i mentioned another thing that is great is the rogue 
uh, boneyard bars where basically they use them at events or they're used bars they're, they're still functional they're not broken in any way but basically you get a really good barbell for extremely cheap price or you could get a uh, grab bag bar which is a hundred bucks uh, last time I checked and you just get a bar and it'll be whatever you don't even know what kind of barbell you're gonna get but it's a cheap barbell now going back to the uh, red fitness equipment the SR4000 plus the power bar it already came out to about 900 bucks so I still had to get a bench press and I still had to get iron plates what I decided to do was uh, basically go a little bit over budget it was about $200 over budget and the reason why I did that is because Red Fitness is now offering 0% interest uh, financing, 0% APR financing. Now, personally, I hate financing things because it's just a kind of a bill that's added on for the next few months. But it's nice because you buy once, you cry once, you don't have to buy a rack that you don't really like or a bar that you don't really like. And then you're down two, three hundred dollars and then you have to sell it for maybe half the price and then get another barbell. And at the end of the day, you spent more money than you should have. If you finance something, I think it's a little bit better. You finance it, you buy the thing that you actually really want or need and you just keep it for the next few years. So at the end of the day, my overall build was the SR4000, the power bar, a 45 pound uh, plate pair and the power bar and then the FB 3000 that added up to a little bit over a thousand but I thought that was the perfect starter home gym the squat rack that I mentioned is really good because you have uh, so much versatility with it you could basically deadlift in it squat bench uh, do whatever you need to do the one thing you can't do with a squat rack though is have a lat slash low row attachment on it you could have some other attachments on there but specifically not the lat and low row so if you're looking for that i'd highly recommend the 1000 series racks or of course if you want to spend more the 4000 or 5000 series racks as well now i forgot to mention in the beginning of the video if you guys are new to this channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button that would mean a lot to me and also i did want to mention that i have a pr5000 v2 behind me with the lat low row attachment and some other extra stuff here all from red fitness except for the ohio bar which uh, i think i'll keep forever it was the first barbell i ever bought so it's pretty sentimental in my opinion and so that is probably why i will keep it um, that being said i've had an amazing experience with red fitness you can of course go to other companies like titan uh, fitness rogue um, fitness but rogue is probably going to be a little bit harder to stay at a thousand dollars or around a thousand dollars they're um, a little bit more of an expensive brand because they're made in the united states and that's the disclaimer actually rep fitness is made in china so if you really don't want to support things that are made in china i would highly recommend going to either rogue or soren x or other companies that are made in the usa if you are on a budget and you simply cannot afford to support an american business then rep fitness is uh, something i think is amazing their steel is incredible their equipment and quality is really really good as well and i think the best thing for me is their customer service i've always had a great time with their customer service and they've always done whatever they need to do to kind of earn my business and keep my business so that is why i'm a huge supporter of Red fitness i think they offer extremely great products for an insanely good price for what it is so that's kind of why i decided to choose rep fitness as my main company to go to for this thousand dollar home gym build but that being said of course there's dozens of other companies out there that you could go with one of them actually being amazon that i personally will not speak for because i've never bought anything from amazon in terms of fitness equipment but some people have bought things and they've either been really good or really bad. So it's kind of a risky situation if you want to go and buy something off of Amazon. But if you wanted to see what's on Amazon and what could potentially be bought off of Amazon in terms of home gyms, I'll also put a link in the description for you guys to check out. That being said, there are adjustable dumbbells that have an insanely good reputation that you could buy off Amazon. And so if you're looking for just kind of uh, basic uh, equipment where you don't need a rack, you don't need a barbell, things like that, um, sandbags, dumbbells, kettlebells, bands, those things I think are great for Amazon. So I'll, I will probably find some things on Amazon and put those in the description so you guys can easily access them. So that wraps it up for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and benefited from it. If you guys are able to find a thousand dollar home gym that you guys think is better than the one that I mentioned and built, please comment it in the comment section below so other people could benefit from that as well. And if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and inshallah I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.